Some people have been asking me which Avatar statue is my favorite. Well, I'll just rank them on a scale of 1 to 10 out of all three I have. Starting with Zuko. I mean, all of, all of them are really cool. And it's cool because this is one where you, you angle him and then he would be facing that way. So you would put another statue over here on that side. So it looks like he's attacking whoever's over there. The only thing that goes against it is that if you look right here, it looks like fire is just coming out of his elbow, and that's not really how firebending works. Same thing with this. His hand is like that. It should be like this, or like this, not like that. But I give this an 8. Moving on to Aang, this one is probably my favorite. And this is one where you would have in the middle of some of them. So that's why I put it like this, because it looks like Zuko's attacking him, and it looks like Aang is just bending the air perfectly back at it. And the design just looks really cool, because out of all the elements that they would have to make for, like, this part, I think air would be the hardest one to make, and I think they did really good. The only thing that goes against it is that it's really tall compared to the other two, and also... The staff isn't really connected, it's just rubber banded to his hand. But I, I give this a 9. Moving on to Katara, which is the last one. At least the last one that I have so far. Um, the water looks pretty good. The way she's bending looks awesome, and I think they actually made it look pretty cool. But also, the thing that goes against it is that both of her legs seem really long, and I don't think her legs were quite that long in the show. Comment down below if you think I'm wrong, and comment down below if you agree with my ratings.